Hey everyone, a couple weeks ago Justin T commented on one of my videos. He said he'd like to see more videos on wired protocols. He works with troubleshooting access control and MVR systems and he suggested that we make a video series on the Wiegand protocol, which is the protocol used between access control readers like NFC and RFID readers and the door controllers. I bought this reader on Amazon for $25 US. I'll put an affiliate link below if you wanna buy one yourself. In this video, we're gonna be looking at the logic analyzer data between the reader and the controller. In a future video, we'll look at the Flipper Zero support for reading, and then also hopefully I'll have written some software and we can look at how to use that software to troubleshoot your particular readers and understand the differences in protocols. Be sure to subscribe to the channel to get updates on future videos when they come out. And if you click that bell, you'll be notified. Thanks a lot. Before we open up the logic analyzer, I wanted to discuss the physical wires that are involved. The red wire goes to 12 volts. The black wire goes to ground. The green wire is called data zero and the white wire is called data one. If the gray wire is connected to ground, it's 34 bit weakened. And if the gray wire is left disconnected, it's 26 bit weakened. The yellow and the blue wires are left disconnected. The weakened protocol uses two wires for data plus ground. The green wire is data zero and the white wire is data one. Both data zero and data one are at five volts and then one of the wires were pulsed to ground to transmit data. In this case, the white data one wire is pulsed to ground to transmit a one value. And then we're transmitting another one value here. The third bit, the green data zero is pulsed to ground for a zero value. For my reader, the length of the pulses are 210 microseconds or 0.2 milliseconds, and the duration between pulses is 2.427 milliseconds. Now let's zoom out and look at the Wiegand 26-bit protocol. The first bit is a parity bit, which is calculated using the next 12 bits of data, so up to this line. We then have 12 more bits of data followed by a final parity bit. So that leaves us with 24 bits in the middle. Those 24 bits are sectioned into two parts. The first part is the eight bits, which is the facility ID. The remaining 16 bits is the user ID. So reviewing, we have five volts on the data zero wire and we have ground on the data zero wire and it pulses to ground to indicate a zero and then the data one, it pulses to ground to indicate a one. Those zeros and ones are converted to bits. We have a parity bit at the front. And we have a parity bit at the end. Our first eight bits of data are the facility code and the rest of the bits are the user identifier. It seems some manufacturers may have repurposed the meaning of the bits. So it's 26 bits, but the purpose of the bits may not always be eight bits of facility and the rest for user ID. I also couldn't find any documentation that said the pulses were always 0.21 milliseconds and that the duration between was 2.427 milliseconds, like in my reader. I've switched to showing a Wiegand 34-bit value. I scanned the same batch and you'll notice that the data is the same as before. The parity bit at the end has switched from a one to a zero, but in the parity bit that was in the front is now a bunch of zeros. And it was also a one in the past and is now a zero. So it appears at least for this reader, the way they calculate parity changes between 34-bit and 26-bit. It's unclear to me how different manufacturers will choose to treat the various bits, such as expanding the facility code or adding additional user ID bits. This particular keypad always uses 4-bit Wiegand with no parity. However, other manufacturers may encode keypads with additional bits, such as 8-bit Wiegand, where both the value and the inverted value is sent. It's also possible some keypads encode the data into 26 or 34-bit values. In this 4-bit protocol, you can see that the 1 through 9s are binary 1 through 9. The 0 is also just a 0. The escape button is set as decimal 10 and the enter is decimal 11. 
Hopefully now you know more about the 4-bit, 26-bit, and 34-bit Wiegand protocol, along with the green D0 and the white D1 physical layer. In a future video, we'll look at the Flipper Zero application that can be used to read the keypad and access cards. I'll also write a Flipper Zero application that emulates devices and helps understand the timing and parity of existing Wiegand systems, which should be helpful in troubleshooting compatibility issues. Please like and subscribe and have a great day.